Hey guys, and welcome to another C++ programming tutorial from Someone9031. And today I will be teaching you guys about the ternary or conditional operator in C++. Uh, the ternary operator, uh, also known as the conditional operator, is called the ternary operator because it uh, has three operands. Um, just like a binary operator is an operator that takes two operands, like the addition operator, and a unary operator is one that takes only one operand, like uh, the increment operator. Um, the ternary operator is the only operator in C++ to actually use three operands. And it's called a conditional operator um, because uh, it is used usually to replace a um, a pair of if and else statements. So to show you how this works, we're going to be writing a uh, simple function that will determine the maximum of two numbers that are being passed in. So uh, it's going to be int max and then it will take int a and int b. Now in here we're going to have a, a variable called m which will be our max and then we're going to use the conditional operator or the ternary operator to set m to whichever um, uh, integer is bigger, a or b. Now normally you would do something like this. If a is greater than b, um, then m... Oh wait, I shouldn't have gotten rid of that. Uh, int m equals zero, 0. So if a is greater than b, m equals a because it's bigger and then else m equals b uh, so normally we would do something like that and then we would return m like so uh, so this is sort of more complicated than it needs to be because you know if and else statements they take up lots of room and stuff um, so this is where the ternary operator comes in a ternary operator, operator can replace this pair of if and else statements in one line. So what we want to do is m equals... So first we put the condition. For the ternary operator, um, basically the format is first you put the condition. So um, what you put inside brackets for um, an if statement. So if a greater than b. So if uh, this is the condition, if this returns, tr and then we put a question mark. So that is a defining characteristic of the ternary operator. So if a is greater than b, this is the condition, the boolean condition that will return a boolean, which is either true or false. So after this question mark, uh, you put what happens if it's true. What value gets returned if this uh, statement is true? So if a is greater than b, then a. And then we put a colon, and then we put b. So basically what this statement does is, it sets m equals, and then it uses a ternary operator, sees if a is greater than b. So if a is greater than b, then it returns a. So int m equals a, because a gets returned. If it's not greater than b, then b is returned. So whichever value in here is either returned or if it's like a function call or something like that, it's uh, the function gets called, something like that. Or we could just declare all of this, uh, m equals zero. And then we could create a whole new line for this, so a greater than b. And then question mark, m equals a, m equals b. So this has the same effect. Basically, uh, whatever, if this statement is true, whatever fo uh, right, follows right after this question mark will be executed if it's true. So if it was just a variable, that variable would be returned. If it's not, like a function call or like an assignment, then um, it would be executed. And if it's false, then you put and then you put a colon, and then if it's false, you put the what happens if it's false. And actually, this does not need to be even this complicated. We could go, we, we could just simply do this all in one line. Return, and put brackets, a greater than b, question mark, a, or b. Like that. 
basically this just checks if a is greater than b like before and if it's uh, if a is greater than b then we return a uh, uh, otherwise we return uh, if a is greater than b we return a uh, otherwise we return b so we could uh, see out max um, let's see we could do three and four actually I think this will actually call the built-in C++ max function uh, let me just check that yes it will actually call there's actually a built-in C++ function called max so let's just change the name of this so we can actually use it M there we go five and a hundred like so build the program and it prints out 100 just like we want it to so uh, just as a recap um, basically the structure of a ternary or uh, conditional operator the, um, the structure for using it would be first we have the boolean condition so the condition and then question mark if true so what happens if it's true and if uh, false basically yeah this is evaluated bool condition if it if it's true then whatever is here is either returned or executed if it's false then whatever is here is uh, returned or executed so yeah basically that's uh, that's the tutorial um, if you like this video please subscribe uh, rate uh, if you have any questions comments or feedback feel free please feel free to leave them below in the comment section uh, any feedback will be greatly appreciated and thanks for watching